Hello everybody. So here we have is a very, very, very old piece of Pacific U wood I got from Uncle Kev at Uncle Kev Carves. Uh, thank you everybody for subscribing to his channel. He made it to over a thousand subscribers. So this piece, let me spin this around. This piece was given to me from Kevin my last visit over there and I'm going over there again next week to do some carving. It's all twisted. See how it kind of, these twists kind of go this way. They're not straight up and down the log. So I'm just carving this for myself, okay? I'm just taking it easy, having a good time. I'm not in any rush. I want this to be like, turn out to be like almost like a carving fusion masterpiece. If I can do one. Hold on a second here. Okay. So. I got all the faces, this is a spirit pole. I'm gonna put other things in here too, like here I might carve in some leaves or whatever. It's an open field. Do you know what I mean? It's an open field. So what I'm gonna do now is spin this log around. Here, let me spin it around and I'll be back. Okay, so it's spun around. So you can see how I got everything. See these lines are going this way. I got everything flowing, right? So everything's gonna be like a barber pole. You know? See these lines? So if you guys are carving sticks, you know, if you want to just make everything nice and flowing, think of S lines, nice and smooth lines. But anyways, long story short, all I'm using, I'm going to crank the tunes. I'm going to be using my 140, my little battery saw. Okay. Here's another, my other, I got two 140s, right? These saws are not meant for blocking out. Okay. These saws are basically for detail. They're the best bang for the buck. You buy this saw, you get the big AK-30 battery. There's, I'm not gonna get into battery chainsaws, right? But these are the ones that I chose because I'm using them for detail. But later in this video, this bar comes stock. Okay, this chain's loose, I know. This bar comes stock with this saw when you buy it. It's a pruning, saw, pruning bar, okay? I think it's like 10 inches long. And it's 043 gauge chain, so it's thinner chain, right? But what I'm going to do later in this video for high Liz is put a 12 inch cannon bar on here with a, with a quarter pitch chain, 50 gauge, that's a thicker gauge, and see if we can do some cutting with it. I know it won't have that much power, but she wants a multi-purpose saw, so I just want to see if that can be done. But anyways, I'm going to uh, draw something on here and just start carving and um, I guess have fun. That's all you can do. Okay guys, so before I start carving, I want to say that, that you would, Pacific you would, this wood being very old and, and bone dry, is a, it's a pretty hard wood, like it's, it's, it's a lot harder than uh, oak, I would say. Um, and they used to make crossbows out of this stuff, because it's, it's uh, bendable, I guess. But I guess I'll start at the top, and um, draw a face on here or whatever make it all blend in together but I'm just gonna show you that this little 140 why I got this saw because it's light it's light I tried the 200 no insult towards it my buddy uh, Larry Dale has one but it's a lot heavier than this saw you guys if you want to think about getting into chainsaw carving just to get to do wood spirits or whatever just do light carving I suggest get this 140 because the lighter the saw is the more fun you're gonna have carving because the saws get heavy after a while holding it up here, you know? Think about it, I gotta hold the saw up here. It takes a lot of, it's a lot of work on your biceps, right? So if you wanna do just wood spirits, get the 140, cause you get the saw, the battery, and the charger. Yeah, so I can see your hand. It looks like it's in the middle. Okay, saw, so, please. So, yep, yeah, absolutely, there you go. Okay, thanks, that's it, that's it, bro. Hey, thanks, Scott. Yeah. First action filming shit. That's it. Goddamn crap. So 
I've gone through a whole battery. I've carved one, two, three, four spirit faces. Just quick block out. Um, so I'm having a break, drinking my Timmy's. I got milk this time, not cream. So this was a big void in the thing, right? There's a big hollow in there. So I tried, I'm gonna try and shape this face with my die grinder now. See if I can get it to look like a face. I know it's all butchy and blocky and stuff like that, but here's another face here. Oh, did I do this one? No, this one was done yesterday. Here's another face here. Mustache kind of broke off. That's fine because I need to get the eye in here. So you guys just when you're doing something like this try to be as fluent as you can, right? So I'm not too sure what's going to happen with this guy. If we're going to end up carving in here or leaving that or because I left this nose like broken too. You want it to look old whimsically, right? So I think what I'm going to do now is quickly uh, hit it with my die grinder, clean it up and see how it looks. I guess. Yep. You know, they say uh, yew wood is poisonous, but they also say it once uh, was a cure for cancer, so I don't know, the bark or whatever. Who knows? Okay, so I haven't really done too much detail on this one. I'm not doing detail yet, I'm just cleaning them up. I haven't done too much on this. Um, what other one did I do? Yeah, this one I cleaned up a bit. I gave him, anyways, it's just, I'm going with the flow. This one I gave him a bottom lip here, you see? I left his nose broken. I had to punch this one way back. So, the, like, these ones won't have real eyes. Um, this one, maybe. Um, and this one won't have real eyes. See how I'm just going with the flow? You know, the best way I can describe it is I'm just trying to connect the dots. Like with the, these wind lines here. See how they hit his mustache, his uh, eyebrows and go up? I still gotta refine everything. You know, I'm I'm taking my time on this piece. You wood and manzanita wood are my favorite woods to carve in the world, okay? In the world or on the world. I guess it's called on the world because we stand on the world. So on the world, my favorite wood to carve is manzanita wood and you wood. But you wood is my true number one favorite because it's a native wood. It's, we grow it on Vancouver Island. So anyways, this big hole down here, you can see I put my hand in it. I'm gonna carve a big nose here. And I'm just gonna make this like an open mouth. I don't wanna carve any, well you can see there. You can see my fingers. But I wanna leave this as realistic, like a old weathered hole because that's what you would does you know the tree itself will rot in the inside and when the old tree this these trees are thousands of years old when the old tree dies is about to die it will grow a, a branch inside inside of here okay see if this was a huge it would grow a branch inside of here into the ground and start a new tree yep sure would carry on okay so this has been a really tricky piece to carve because pieces just like ping they fly off right so here's one that big bottom one i got this guy tucked in kind of gave my uncle kevin uh beard there see his eyes are tilted this way nose his beard bottom lip um this guy this guy with the rotten nose the rotten bottom lip with the big pit down in there and was that it for today yeah and this guy so I kind of hold this I wanted to look like a Roman helmet I'll probably put like a, a Vikings helmet I'll probably put like a Viking rune right here or something one up here so it's recognizable so it's getting late in the day so let's see here 
I've, I've been out at this for about um, four hours today, I'd say. It's, it's a, not a quick carve. Get a full visual of this. So now maybe what I'll do is, uh, so this guy, I'll carve one eye on this side. That's kind of like a skull eye. One eye on this side, um, hollow, hollow eyes and eyes on the bottom so I guess I'll carve the eyes in and I'll be back and we'll wrap it up for the day hope everybody's doing great okay so that's going to be a wrap for me today on this uh, old old you wood thank you for the wood Kevin I love it um, it's I'm trying my best on this piece. I'm not well not my yeah, I'm trying my best. I'm just not in any rush, right? I think I probably got about like eight hours into this so far. So let, I don't know how well you guys can see it on the camera. The biggest the hardest things to take pictures of and videos of are canes and walking sticks. And this is kind of like a walking stick, but a bigger one, right? So see the face here. Face up here, faces everywhere. So I got a water bottle. So let's give this, let me spray this with water so you guys can see. This hasn't been sanded or nothing. I still got so much work to do on it. Like I got to clean all up here. I still got so much work to do on this. Probably I'd say another five, five, six hours. Like, I don't know if you guys can, I'll zoom in, but I don't know if you guys can see this color in the purple right here. It's just such beautiful wood. So, I don't want to give too much detail in the carving itself. Because then you'll take away from the, the beautiful, the beautiful colors of the wood, right? So, let me spin it. Yeah, it'd be easier if I had a better water bottle. Sprayer thing. So I'm really thinking about just putting oil on this when it's all done. I just haven't made up my mind yet. You guys, so you know, if you get if you get a chance to get some really this wood's special wood. It's mystical wood, right? It's you wood, like Y E W. If you get the chance to get Nice wood. Don't rush your projects on it. Take your time and enjoy enjoy what you're doing. You're bringing the wood back to life. This thing filming. Yeah, so I don't know if you're going to see, but once once this gets really sanded, this you wood uh, takes a, a fine gloss. No, there's no sand or nothing in here. So it's going to be cool when it's done. I think it's going to be cool anyways. Some of you guys might not like. I think my favorite face is probably this guy right here. Let's get it wet a bit. A bit more. And I'll bring the camera close in here. These are just temporary eyes that bottom guy has. I don't know if I'm going to give them pupils or not. Like, See the purples in here? I don't know if I'm going to give them pupils or not because sometimes the pupils make them look cartoony. I think this might be my favorite guy here. Or maybe even this guy. So, but yeah, I still got to clean up all in here. <laughs> Excuse me. So let's, uh, might as well just keep doing this live. Sorry about that. So here's, uh, here's this guy. I'm trying to make it look like a Roman helmet, but. I don't know. We'll see. You see the beautiful beauty in that wood? I like this. See, you guys? This guy doesn't have eyes. See how cold? They don't have to have eyes. So don't stress about carving eyes when you first do it. 
This one's kind of hard to see. I might have to, well, I still got to, there's just still a lot more work to do. Anyways, I hope you guys are all good. Um, tomorrow I got to carve an owl and a nuke. I don't know. Maybe I might go live or something. And uh, thanks again for the wood, Kev. Oh, yeah, guys. So this is going to be the base for it. I don't know what I'm going to carve in this. This came from Uncle Kevin, too. I started hollowing it out to put the piece on. This is going to be the base. And then this burl here is going to be the roof. This burl Uncle Kev gave me, a yellow cedar. So, yeah, that's because he makes those trees. It's like a, it's like a spiritual tree, right? Anyways, enough talking. Talk to you guys soon. I'll in the nuke tomorrow. Gotta go. Bye. Hope you're all good. Bye.